What's up guys? We are back for video number two. In this video, we're gonna be going over workouts that help the bull arm, the bull arm stabilize, and then obviously what kind of workouts we need to do to build that strength. Um, the last video was the draw arm. Again, these are things that you can continuously keep working out. Um, the draw arm is obviously, you're, we're doing these things with both arms, so we're gonna be strengthening that bull arm as well, but we're gonna kind of get into the specifics of what we can do to help the bull arm here. So we're going to do the primary and the secondary muscles of what we use during the bull arm, or I should say during the process of shooting, what muscles we're going to use during that uh, cycle. So obviously the first one we're going to be using is going to be our deltoid or our shoulder. Um, there's three heads to the deltoid. Uh, you can just say front, middle, and back. So we're going to want to strengthen all of them. We did strengthen the posterior in the previous video. So we're going to be working on the medial and the anterior or the front. Um, the next one is going to be chest. So we obviously didn't work into the chest the whole much in the last one because we were drawing. Now we're just going to work it in because we are using a lot of that chest here in order to stabilize that bow. Um, last but not least is going to be that lat again. Obviously your shoulder is doing most of the work. It's doing the holding. But what we're trying to do is build strength within these two things to help support the shoulder. So the stronger we can get with our chest and our back, the stronger and better our shoulders are gonna work. Think of it all as a team working together. We obviously need to keep the chest, we need them to strengthen the chest, strengthen the back, back in order to hold the shoulders up better. Okay, so the first workout we're gonna do for our chest is gonna be a chest fly. Like in the previous video, we did a reverse one, now we're gonna do a real one. Um, you can use a bench. If you have one, you can lay on the ground. Either one works. A flat laying on the ground is perfectly fine too. Um, we can either do them two-handed or again, if we want to start working that core a little bit, we're going to do it one-handed. I'll show you both variances here. So we come back and all we're going to want to do is lengthen that chest. Bring weight down until it's comfortable. It's going to be a little uncomfortable if you want the stretch. And we're gonna work the chest just like that. Again, if we want to start adding in the core, all we're gonna do is drop one of the dumbbells and we're gonna do them one arm. Again, I can feel it already engaging my core because with tipping weight off the side, it's pulling my body and trying to pull this out of balance. So that's what we're gonna to wanna to do. We're really gonna to wanna to take deep breaths, breathe through that core and get that thing strong. So now we're going to take a little time to start working on these shoulders. I'm going to give you two variances. So this is going to be two different workouts. Um, the first one is going to be a lateral raise and the second one is going to be a front raise. So I'm just going to kill two birds with one stone here and do both workouts. So a lateral raise is out to the sides. We don't want to extend over our shoulders and we can also add a little bit of movement in at the top like we're tipping a can. So that's going to be one really good workout for the medial part of our deltoids. So that's going to be a lot of strength coming through there to hold the bull arm. Now we're going to throw we're going to throw a little something to make it harder. In. Again, we're going to hold at the top, so that gives you the strength to hold. Obviously, you don't want to do heavy weights when you're holding five pounds, ten pounds, two and a half pounds. Um, honestly, whatever your bow weighs. If you're shooting on a heavier rig, just do do whatever your bow weighs. We're going to come up and we're going to hold and come back down. You can do one second, two second, five second, whatever you think. And again, that's gonna build strength, but that's also gonna build stability. Now we're gonna do it from the front too. So we're gonna do a front raise. And again, we can either do these as reps or we can do them and hold. So we're gonna come up, hold. And they're gonna get harder and harder, but that's good. That means what we're doing is working. So we can hold, we can just rep it up, whatever you wanna do. Okay, so I totally forgot to realize that I forgot to um, say what the secondary uh, body part was in this workout, and that's gonna be the tricep. So obviously the secondary of the previous one was the bicep, this one's gonna be the tricep. We're not using it a ton, but again, it's there and it's used to help stabilize everything. So we're gonna work right into a workout with that one. Um, again, there's so many variances to these workouts that you can, you can change all this. You could even do them on a ball. You could do them on a bozu ball, which is a half ball. Um, this one's gonna be kinda of easy. So this one's just gonna be a dumbbell kickback. So we're just gonna kick that weight back and we can hold at the top if we wanna do a little bit more of a workout 
or we can just do reps. Again, you can put your hand on the bench. If you wanna engage that core, you can use one. Kind of work that core, you could use two. Again, all these are gonna be different variances to however you wanna do them. Change it up every week. Obviously, you don't wanna get stuck doing the same thing over and over. But again, if we're just using one, we're gonna add a little bit of that core in there. Okay guys, last but not least here for stabilization of the bow arm and strengthening. I hate doing them, a lot of people hate doing them, but they work, it's just a regular push up. So again, we can do variances with this though. We can do close grip, we can do medium grip, we can do wide grip, however you want. You can do them up on a bench, totally different, so many different things. If you have questions, definitely ask, drop them in the comments if you have any questions. Um, we're just gonna do the basic ones here. Um, I like doing a variance, five, five, and five, I call it. It was something I always did when I was a trainer and I put my clients through it as well. So this one's gonna be easy. We're gonna start close, make a little diamond. We're gonna come down and do fives. We're gonna to switch to a medium. And then we're gonna do what? So what we wanna make sure when we're doing a push up though is that our elbows are coming out. We don't want them, you can have them somewhat stationary, but we don't want them coming in. We want a lot of that to be pressed out. But we also don't want it pressed out so far that we're putting pressure on the shoulders. So we have to learn a heavy media. But I always tell people, when you get into this push-up position, you can actually rotate your forearms in and out. So what we're gonna wanna do is rotate them a little bit in. And that's gonna give us, we're gonna want the chest over the hands. And that's gonna give us the least impact on the shoulders. Um, a lot of these workouts can impact your shoulders. I'm not putting anything technical in because I don't anyone, want anyone to hurt themselves. So again, this was a push-up one and this is going to be super, super simple. Tons of variances with this one as well. Um, honestly, you can do rep ranges for however much you can. Another thing you can do too that I just thought of is you can hold. You can kind of go up into like a push-up plank and then we can come down and hold. And whatever we're doing is going to be working we're gonna be engaging that core in order to keep everything, everything straight. I'll do a couple from the side. Again, we can hold and we can hold. The closer your grip is together, the more you're gonna be working your triceps. Okay, so that is the end of video two. That is gonna be five workouts that you can use to strengthen and stabilize your bow arm. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, hit me up on social media, uh, whatever you want to do. My social media is just my name, just Trey Arns. I think Instagram, it's Trey Arns 11 Shoot me a DM, anything like that if you have questions. Um, if this was helpful at all, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, share it. If you think it's going to be helpful to other people, definitely get the word out. Um, all I'm trying to do is help you guys become better archers. So uh, if you have any questions, again, drop them in the comments. But thank you for watching, and we're going to be to the next one here shortly.